Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 30 St. James in Liverpool here, ahead of a, a big night for many of the young men on these two tables. A night I'm very excited about, especially headlined by a fantastic fight between Stephen Smith and Dennis Boschiero, the final elim eliminator for the IBF world title. Just to introduce everyone on the table, down on the, my front left, a uh, young, unbeaten light heavyweight who is now stepping up into some major fights. Uh, on Saturday night, he'll fight a final eliminator for the Commonwealth light heavyweight title um, against Trinidadian's Nigel Edwards, who's here as well. We welcome him and Box with Pops, our long term friend from, from across the side of the sea. A young, unbeaten light middleweight, Marcus Morrison from Manchester, who is really coming on as one of the top young prospects in the country. On the top table, um, Obviously you would have seen recently that Gary Buckland and Scotty Cardle was uh, postponed early this week after an injury to Scotty Cardle. And as always, we thank Gary and his team for stepping up into another fight, always ready to fight, one of the most entertaining fighters in the division. And um, down on the other end, the young man who I've got to give massive credit and respect to, and that's Sean Masha Dodd. Um, stepping up against Gary Buckland on Saturday night, He's already sold a huge amount of tickets. I've heard about the fans, I've heard about the songs and the atmospheres, and now he gets a golden opportunity. And this is a beautiful thing about boxing, because Sean Dodd goes from a six rounder to a fight with Gary Buckland, which essentially is an unauthorized, but I will call it, a final eliminator for Scotty Cardle, because I want to give the winner of this fight a shot against Scotty Cardle for the British title. And Sean Dodd gets a chance live on Sky Sports at around 9.15 to take on Gary Buckland. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful fight and a wonderful atmosphere inside the Olympia. Down from him, one of the top light welterweights in the world, Bradley Saunders, back from a hand in injury and hand operation. It's a division that's bustling at the world stage and at the domestic scene. You've just seen another good fight between John Wayne Hibbert and Dave Ryan. Bradley certainly targeting John Wayne Hibbert. You've got November the 7th, Chris Jenkins against Tyrone Nurse for the British light welterweight title. You've got Lenny Dawes fighting for the European light welterweight title. It's a great division. And Bradley's right back in the mix straight away. He's got a tough fight against Francis Renault Garrido, who is all action. Seen him a couple of times. And, and this is a big fight for Bradley to get back in the mix, move on into big fights later this year. Uh, welcome to our friends from Italy. Um, Chris Kirchi, who's uh, been a long time partner of ours from Italy and of course Devis Boschiero. Um, when this fight got put to us, this was uh, a fight that straight away we knew would be a, a great fight. We spoke to Joe Gallagher, we've watched Devis Boschiero, we know exactly what he brings, and uh, this is a fantastic fight. My good friend, co-promoter, Joe Gallagher, uh, welcome to the top table as always. Got a, about 17 fighters on the card uh, on Saturday night as always. And a young man, Stephen, Stephen Swifty Smith, who really takes part in the biggest fight of his life on Saturday night. Seen the press, you know, this is his golden chance. The winner of this fight will go on in his next fight to challenge for the IBF Super Featherweight Championship of the world. It's an absolute must-win fight for both of these contestants, and uh, we're going to hear from them shortly. Firstly, Jose, um, obviously been reasonably active lately. And uh, a tough fight against a guy who I know you haven't seen much footage of, but coming off a big win himself and uh, a chance to move on to those major titles. Yeah, well, um, I don't really know too much about him, but uh, he has a good winning record. Um, come fight night, I hope he gets knocked out. Obviously, uh, you know, the, 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 the champion at the moment in the Commonwealth. He's Bob as you say, that's a guy who turned down a fight with you when you were ready to step in at Leeds. But they're the kind of guys that you want to move on to now. Yeah, Bob I just asked me man after this, um, to, he turned down a fight after um, I had a, a week's notice to fight him. And um, he turned that down, obviously he doesn't want me, so after, after, uh, after this fight I'm looking for him. Marcus, um, been very active yourself, obviously boxed. Um, in Manchester recently and now in Liverpool and, and looking for a, a busy end to the year. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a busy, busy year this year. I've had you know, some seven fight within 12 months. But uh, yeah, Saturday night I've got a decent opponent uh, on paper better than anyone I thought. Uh, and I think come Saturday night you'll see uh, the best of me and you'll see what I can do. Obviously, I know your future is directed and dictated by Joe, but how far away do you feel you are from those those British light middleweights right now? I think give myself a good 12-18 months 
within the next six months, I definitely want to be looking for, you know, at least a central or a central area title or an English title or something like that. But you know, within the next eighteen months, I'll uh, hopefully be up there with the, with the best in Britain. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, Nigel, welcome. Uh, I know you may have seen a little bit more about Jose Burton, but uh, we're excited to watch you uh, in a, what should be a great fight on Saturday. I think that um, I've been more focused on um, seeing that um, what I could do and also um, focus on, um, on the fight and see what, um, what I've accomplished by the fight. Obviously a big fight for you, the winner going on to fight for the Commonwealth title. <coughs> Yes, it's an um, it's an opportunity that um, I will to take and um, see that um, I come up with a win. Thank you, Nigel. Yeah. Gary, obviously, uh, I was uh, devastated by the news. I think you against Scotty would have been a great fight. You look in great shape. Um, you're ready to fight, and obviously now taking the fight against Sean, which uh, probably more pressure on you more than anything because it's a must-win fight. But as always, you're ready to go. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I was. Well, we're playing for the Scotty Cardo. Uh, I was a little bit shocked when they opened up on Tuesday, but uh, I got past that now. Now I've got to look now at Sean. And I'm not looking past his fight, hopefully, now get, him, get past him on Saturday and then you know, start kind of fight again in November. Sean, obviously a massive opportunity for you, not just in terms of what comes through through victory on Saturday, but you know, live on Sky, and I know you, you've got a big, big set of fans coming down. Um, and a tough fight against Gary Buckman. Yeah, definitely. Um, I remember watching Gary, and, um, and I love to watch Gary Buckman. He's an entertaining fighter, but uh, you know, I'm an entertaining fighter myself. I've got a lot of my, uh, in my in my tools. So come Saturday, you know, he won't he won't be looking looking for Nolan, but it'll be me. Obviously, boxing's all about taking chances at the right time, but but really, this this one could be a real career changer with victory on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the past, the fights I've had in the past, you know, they've all boiled down to this moment now. Um, there's a big opportunity for me and I'm going to take it with both hands and come Saturday night, Buckland's getting buckled. Thank you. Bradley, um, obviously the, the disappointment of the hand injury, um, you were due to be fighting Dave Ryan in Newcastle, which, which would have been a great fight. Yeah. Um, you, you broke your hand in sparring, had the operation, you look in great shape, I know you're in a great place and I'm ready to get back on the horse. Yeah, yeah, I've um, we lost two fights, in all fairness, for a sign here and I haven't been 100% for none of them, you know, I'm just for hand injuries, training through camps with one hand, getting in fighting, and I just haven't made myself, you know, and now um, I'm getting back to 100%, looking forward to Obviously, this fight. I mean, this, this kid I'm fighting for, that fella Chenko last, um, on got beat on a split decision. That's a world title challenger there from over in Ukraine. So he's no push over. He comes to win. Comes for a fight. He's already messaged me on Twitter now saying that it has, that he's going. He's coming for it. So if he's going to come for it. He can have it, no doubt. Um, but I'm looking forward to this fight. Get get my hands tested properly. And then pushing on, and I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll fight any any light world away in Europe, not just Britain. I'm not, I'm not thinking well out of that. And I'll fight anyone. You know, I've always fought anyone all the way through my amateur career. And if anyone will be a putter, I've never knock anyone back. You know, like yourself. Um, so I'm just looking forward to my future. I'm, I'm getting busy this year, and hopefully next year I'll push on properly. A great time for the domestic light world to wait. one that's been quite quiet for years gone by and now really bustling with, with some big fights. Yeah, some cracking fights out there. I am, like you said, they've got Tyrone Nurse, Jenkins, during those all the amateurs with all them. Nearly four Jenkins a few times in the amateurs. Um, and then you've got Dave Ryan, John Wayne and all the rest of them. You know, I mean, John Wayne's called me out for the last two years. I've never said, I've never called anybody out. He's called me out for the last two years. There's no reason now he's got a title. He won't give me his first defence. Look forward to your fight with Renan Garrido on Saturday. Christian? Um, obviously, it's a big fight for, for Devis, a must-win fight, and one that on paper looks like it will be all action. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, it's you know it's fight week now, and uh, preparation went well. He had uh, good sparring. The fight on paper should be uh, entertaining, uh, very close, and very very good fight. So let's hope and make the best uh, man win. Davis, uh, you're looking in fantastic shape. Um, I trust you've had a, a great camp. 
ahead of an important fight on Saturday. Thank you for the opportunity, it's ready, uh, he has a long uh, preparation, the preparation went well and uh, he opened a good fight Saturday. Thank you. Joe, obviously as always, plenty of fighters on the bill, um, a stern test for Jose Alberto and obviously the big one um, for Steve who looks in great shape and uh, has had a, a good long solid camp for this fight. Yeah, no training's been um, going really well for all the lads in the gym. Um, really pleased for Ofe. He's been minded in a while now to step up to 10 rounds, title level, and it's a great opportunity for him. Um, he was a six rounder, this is Commonwealth Eliminator, and Bob Adjusif, as Ofe said, wouldn't fight him, so we're going to have to get him in a position where he's going to be, have to be forced to fight him and become the mandatory. Marcus Morrison is 6 and 0, 7 and 0. He's got a tough fight. Both kids are fighting kids on Saturday night with uh, winning records. I think Marcus's opponent uh, of his uh, 11 wins, seven have been against winning uh, records. So he's a uh, no pushover job, so it's a good test. And then obviously with uh, Stephen Smith, um, it's going to, like Boxing News said, it's going to be a, a right um, close contest. And listen, in all honesty, sometimes you get the finger sometimes for people saying, oh, one-sided cards, this and that and everything else. Anybody that tunes in Saturday night to watch this show, the 50-50 fights. I'm so excited to watch Sean Dodd and Gary Buckland. I hope Sky put monitors in the change room because I want to see that fight. No Sean personally from having him in the gym sparring Anthony Crawler in the past for fights with John Murray and Gavin Reese. So I know he's capable of and also Gary Buckland. That's a great 50-50 fight for people tuning in Saturday night. Then after that then Stephen Smith I say Bashero, that's got to be a, a real tough fight. We've seen plenty of Bashero in the ring. We've seen his keep fit videos. We've seen his work on the pads. And uh, we know what he's got to bring, he's a, he's a good fighter, he's well experienced, but I know Stephen Smith, this is his time. Um, people forgot a little bit about Stephen Smith, obviously Liam's fighting for the world title, Paul's huge three fights this year that's gone, and Callum with his big fight in November. And Stephen's just gone under the radar, but it's his chance now to shine, and um, he's got to grab this opportunity with both fans, and uh, I think the crowd have got to play a, a major part on Saturday night, and uh, I want them to get behind. All Sean Dodd, Sean Dodd supporters, everyone else there, get behind Stephen Smith and get him up on that finishing line on Saturday night. Obviously, I you know you, you study the opponents intensely. What, how do you see the fight playing out? I'm going into tactics, but what kind of fight do you expect on Saturday? Well, Bashero is travelled, he's uh, been very lucky, he's always fit, good work rate, good left hook, right hand. And I think both fighters will have uh, moments in the contest. I've already said to Stephen. I see it very similar to the John Simpson fight, the second one at the Olympia, where Stephen had moments in the fight and Simpson came back and Stephen, that's what we prepared for, a hard 12 rounds of non-stop punching and whoever the stat man is on Saturday night, the punch count has got to be firstly high Saturday night. Stephen, obviously uh, you've had a, a good long camp for this, you've been training probably when you, when you found out about this fight, I think you are probably training for three or four weeks before you even started your camp, so uh, ready to go on Saturday night. Yeah, um, you know, camp, camp's been good, uh, you know, couldn't have asked for more really, I had the time, I had the preparation, you know, and a new opponent, so, you know, no excuses, I've been really good shape and, you know, I'm ready to go. Obviously, I've seen some of the quotes, put a lot of pressure on yourself saying that this is the fight, you must win. Obviously, a pivotal moment in your career on Saturday night to, to move on and change for that world title. Yeah, I come across a bit different, it's just one of them, you know, I don't go into any, any fight thinking, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, I can get another chance, you know, every fight still is high, really, every fight you've got to win, and, you know, I don't want to look past any fight, so, you know, in, in my opinion, this fight I've got to win, because, you know, I fight for the world title next, that's my goal. Boschero, uh, very busy, very durable, you know, been, been the distance with some top fighters, are you expecting a long night on Saturday, is that what you prepared you for, that, that kind of gruelling fight? Yeah, you know, you've got, you've got to prepare for it, otherwise, you know, it's when you come on stuff, you leave any stone and turn, but, you know, Joe's saying, saying me very hard, like he always does with all the lads, you know, we're always in good shape, and, you know, I'm, I'm fit and ready for 12 hour rounds now if I need them, and, you know, I don't know whether I will, but, you know, I know, I know I've got a tough ask in front of me, but, you know, I'm all eyes on it until he goes on Saturday night and you'll see the best of me. Thank you, that's our main event, the IBF.
final eliminator for the Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Um, doors will open at five o'clock on Saturday. We'll be, un we'll be over underway about 6 p.m. Zelfa Barrett also on the bill, Tom Farrell as well. So some big, big names, some great fights and uh, get behind all the lads on Saturday night, particularly the local boys. And we'll see you at the Olympia on Saturday. Thank you very much.